So well, let's let's get on to the projects in Mexico. So you've got uh, Valadena, uh, Santa Maria, Rodeo, Yokivo, and Fletches. I'm not quite sure I'm pronouncing that, but okay. Let, let, let's let's talk about Santa Maria first because you have again. You, I think you you you've got an option with a another junior company looking at that, taking it off your hands. I mean, what's that deal look like and why have you done it? Yeah, so Santa Maria was a focus for us uh, since 2014, early on. We thought we could build a production center in the uh, Peral area of Chihuahua, and that was going to be the basis. It didn't get big enough fast enough, and we spent a fair bit of time and money you know, getting it, moving it forward. It wasn't quite big enough to um, you know, capture our complete interest and, and get the board on side to make a production decision. So we, we tried to find uh, some partners in it and we finally found a, a group, uh, Fabled Copper, um, you know, with a, run by a guy who has, uh, has, he's had success in getting in the capital markets and getting things funded. And so it makes great sense for us as being too small a project for us to farm it out to a, a company that it's the right size for. Um, so we're pleased with the deal. They're going to pay us uh, about $4 million in cash over two years, um, you know, half a million on, on uh, signing. And then we have a royalty interest on top of that, which uh, you know, could, over the life of the mine, produce another two or three million U.S. So it, it more than pays us back. Um, it's a great little project for a smaller company, and it removes a distraction from us. Uh, it's just the way to go forward. Okay. And... Um... Let's, let's talk about Rodeo, okay, because that was the big part of the conversation, which the kind of, you know, the light bulb moment for me when we were talking last time. So, again, just remind people what you're trying to do then. I want to kind of get into the detail of it, if, if you don't mind. So give us an overview first. Yeah, so it, Rodeo is a, it's a gold deposit that's within haulage distance, trucking distance to our Bellardania oxide mill. That's an oxide mill that we've had leased out to Hecla Mining Company for five years, their lease is ending uh, in November, end of November this year. And then we you know, would obviously like a way to use that mill to make money. The best way forward for us with that asset right now uh, with an oxide source is uh, Rodeo, the Rodeo Gold Deposit. Uh, it's a small deposit. It's close by. It's about uh, 90 kilometers from uh, the mill. So um, you know, haulage cost is, is low. And it's a high-grade, open-pit, low-capital uh project that we can put together you know, rapidly. We're, we're well on our way to getting permits to go ahead with it. And it'll produce about, uh, oh, about 44,000 ounces of gold over about uh, two and a quarter years um, at a cash cost of around $800 an ounce. So huge margin, very low capital, about a million and a half of uh, capital uh, cash before, uh, before we actually make money. So that's like the spend going into the production period. And we can gear up uh, to have it running in uh, January of 2021. Right, but it's a two, two year life of mine. There's not any expiration upside around it. It's, this is purely to produce cash. Um, that's, that's the main, there is some upside and, and we will do some more work around it. Uh, but the, um, the key here is that you have to have a, a grade that allows you to truck and process, mill process. You can't heat bleach this stuff. It has to be milled, uh, given the, the type of ore that we're talking about. Um, but the, you know, the milling recoveries are good. They're in the 80% uh, range. Um, there is upside. Uh, we'll do some more work on it. Uh, but you know, this gives us, um, you know, the PEA was uh, anticipating about 25 million uh, free cash flow net after tax, and you know, that was at $1,600 gold. You know, with the, uh, the sensitivities and, and looking at the increased gold price, and you know, we're talking north of uh, 30 million uh, net after tax income over a couple of years period. So a great way to cash up the company and move us forward to bigger things, including um, Bellardania and possibly additional um, exploration at Rodeo and our other projects. Okay, so but let's say even if we discount it for all of, you know, things go wrong. It's a it's a small pit. Only needs something small to go wrong, and it can you know delay things immediately. So let's say plus twenty million free cash flow, but that's going straight back in the ground on your other projects, mainly Valadena, right? I mean, that's the intention. Um, yeah, and we don't need that much, so it gives us float to do what we 
need to do at Valerdania and do additional work and look at additional opportunities, which is really the way to grow the company. Now, Valerdania is a great asset. It's not a huge mine either, a narrow vein, so you can't produce it very quickly but it does have high value. And now that we've unlocked that uh, using the biooxidation uh, test work that we've done, you know, we do need a bit of cash to, to, to make that go. About five, six million is what we think that's gonna cost us. Um, and then a couple million just for working cap to get it going. But with the money we're making from Rodeo, we'll have more than enough there to move that forward and continue to move forward with our exploration plays, uh, Yokivo, Sand Canyon, other opportunities, and there and there are many.